to bar graphs and histograms. In this module, you will learn about bar graphs and histograms. If you want to make a list of pens, pencils and erasers that you own, what would you do? Probably, you would make a table depicting the number of pens, pencils and erasers. But do you know, you can also depict this data graphically using bar graphs. Bar graphs are used to represent categorized data. To represent the data using bar graph, the different categories are shown along the horizontal line called the x-axis, usually with equal spacing between them. And the frequency of each category is shown along vertical line called the y-axis. Then, corresponding to each category, rectangular bars of uniform width are erected vertically such that the height of the bar represents frequency of each category. Let's look at an example to understand better. The birth months of 27 students of a class are given in a tabular form. To represent this data using bar graph, represent different months on horizontal axis and the frequency, that is the number of students, along the vertical axis. Then, draw different bars corresponding to each month such that height of each bar is equal to the corresponding frequency of each month. From the bar graph, you can easily make out that the number of students born in the month of January is 2. Likewise, there are 5 students who are born in the month of February. Similarly, you can tell the number of students born in different months. So, by looking at the heights of bars, you can easily tell that the maximum numbers of students are born in the month of February and the minimum numbers of students are born in April, June, August and December. Like bar graph, histogram is also used to represent data graphically. Bar graphs are used to represent categorized data whereas histogram is used to represent the data which is categorized into continuous intervals. But in case the width of the rectangular bars vary, the area of the rectangular bars is not proportional to the frequencies. To make the area of the rectangular bars proportional to the frequencies, you adjust the length of the rectangular bars according to their class size so that the length is proportional to the minimum class size. In this module you have learned that bar graphs are used to represent categorized data. Bar graph is a graphical representation of data in which rectangular bars of uniform width are drawn with equal spacing between them. In a bar graph, the x-axis depicts the variable and the values of the variables are shown on the y-axis. Histogram is used to represent the data which is categorized into continuous intervals. 